Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about, providing skirt support, to vertical pressure vessel, in PV Elite software, our flagship courses are, Master Static Equipment Design, and PVE Lite, ASME Section 8 Division 2, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform for more details on scutoid.thinkific.com. Let us talk about the skirt support. Okay, now if I'm adding just like this, if I say yes, the skirt will be added at the last. Okay. If you see here, skirt is at 80 to 90. Okay. So never add like that. Many times we do that mistake. I delete that. I'll select that uh, element and then I'll say insert skirt before this element. I'll say okay. Does that skirt separate two independent pressure chambers? No, it is not taking any pressure, right? So if you are creating a skirt which is coming on a uh, you know, from which the liquid or gases are passing. Then you can call it as separating the independent. Here it is not having any pressure, just attached externally. So does the skirt separate to independent pressure chapter or answer will be no. Now the skirt is added. Okay. We'll go to perform base ring analysis. Okay. And design the skirt for that. Okay. Now you have multiple options. So definitely when you are starting, you'll be starting only with the base ring. If you are able to qualify, that's fine. If not, you'll move to the gusset. If not this, then again, gusset with a top plate. If even with this, you're not able to qualify, then the last option is both the rings, top ring, bottom ring with gussets. So that is how we proceed. Now, how to create a skirt? How we create a skirt? If you see these options, see before I provide the data, let us see the options which are available. We have analyze option. We have design option. We have Brownell and Young analyze. We have Brownell and Young design, ADM analyze and EN. What do you mean by analyze and design? It's simple. When you say design, what do you do? When you say analyze, what do you do? So when we say analyze, that means we are giving the dimensions and telling you to calculate the stresses. Yes. Okay. And when we say design, then it will be changing the input values. So it will be try to design by changing the input also. And in analyze, we don't change the input. We try to find the stresses and will answer will be whether it is qualified or not. In design, your answer will be this is the thickness for which it is getting qualified. So that is the difference. Make sense, guys? Analyze and design. Great. So now... If the difference is clear, you know when to analyze and when to design. When you are providing the dimensions based on standards given by client. okay. Sometimes client will give the standard specification uh, and you have to follow that for providing the support. Okay? That time you'll be providing all the data. okay, And that data you'll be analyzing. Now, if you want the software to change that input, then you'll be using the design option. If you don't want your software to change the input, you'll be using the analyze option. Okay. That is the design analyze. Now, what is Brownell and Young? Brownell and Young is a book. So there is an analysis method for skirt, which is given. So if you want to use that method, that is also very frequently used and it gives the lower thickness compared to normal design okay and brownell and young analysis is based on neutral axis shift okay the method of thickness calculation is also 
two different methods are there one is simplified which is used for steel on steel so if your equipment is on structure then you'll be using the first one in the first one you cannot use the brownell union if i select brownell union automatically it will become neutral axis because brownell union is based on that making sense guys so if i say brownell union and design and say set default dimensions it will take some dimensions okay now if you want you can optimize 76 looks too big so we'll go with 25 okay you can also plot and see what exactly the dimension has been given so you, if you just plot you can see the different dimensions which have been given okay and if you want to change you can change it okay so 25 i've selected bold size also we can reduce 24 because whenever default dimensions you select that will be always over designed okay so this is the input which you are providing uh if you are using brownell and young then the calculation will be neutral axis shifted now what exactly that is so uh this option we are using when the equipment is on concrete so when the equipment is on concrete rested you calculate the equivalent modulus of elasticity. Now, this may be a little bit difficult for you to grasp, but you know, I'll try to explain that. So there is a concrete on which your equipment is rested. Okay. Consider green color as concrete. So the modulus of elasticity of concrete and steel is different. Right? So when you say natural axis shift, so basically you are trying to calculate the equivalent modulus of elasticity. So when you calculate equivalent modulus of elasticity, you create a different hypothetical skirt, which will be having axis little bit shifted than what is there currently Okay, of the combined shape, which is having average modulus of elasticity okay so because of the shift in the bcd the moments generated are higher than the normal because of that you get the lower thickness uh, for the base ring and the skirt also so that is the basically neutral axis shift method so if you use that you will be getting the lower thickness so whenever it is on concrete you use this option okay either design or you say analyze okay both you can use okay. it is available for all the options okay just additional data you have to provide but for all the options the same method you can use make sense guys so this will be your preferred brown and young analyze and neutral axis shape this will be giving you the minimum thickness Make sense? For in-depth training and to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.